I've been doing this for about four years and my girl is still catching me scratching to death unknowingly. Let's learn what to do to skip this awkward feeling. You really shouldn't scratch or itch over the top of your trans tape because it'll cause friction and irritation underneath your tape, kind of like this photo. It will cause the skin underneath to create kind of like hickey type irritations. I used to get those on the bottom line where my trans tape uh, touches my chest right here. If I scratch the shit out of this, it'll get real irritated, sometimes almost bruising. Uh, if you do it too hard and too long and trust me on this, that shit ain't fun. So please don't do that. So let's keep you from doing that. You know what they say about your eyes being itchy? If you stop, it's supposed to slowly stop itching. I can't say this happens with the tape instantly, but if you distract yourself, that can help, and it's best left completely alone. So the less you scratch it, the less it'll itch. If you keep going, it'll keep getting itch, and you will just keep on going all the way down to where you're just damaging your skin and hurting yourself, and that's just not good. So it's best left completely alone. If you get like itchy or hot underneath the trans tape, try applying like an ice pack uh, until the itchiness subsides. You might also be overstretching and that can cause itchiness. Um, if you know for sure that the stretch is minimal and it's constantly happening to your skin, then you could, you should probably should consider using a thin layer of milk of magnesia video up here coming soon and let it completely dry. Okay, you're gonna wipe it all over there and then you're gonna let the whole thing completely air dry and then dust off the extra barrier, the extra like dust that dries uh, with a paper towel, kind of like this video. It's also important to note for itchiness that the very first time that you use trans tape, you're not supposed to be using it without using a test strip first, a two inch strip to monitor the area for any signs of itching, signs of a reaction for a full 24 hours. This can be done by cutting a small like one or two by two inch square of trans tape and applying it where you're gonna be using it. Um, monitor the area for any itching or signs of like a reaction um, for a full 24 hours. It's imperative to do this because that's what tells you whether you have an allergic reaction or whether your application itself just needs to be tweaked to make sure that you're not hurting yourself. So you have to do that before using any trans tape. Slight itching is normal when your skin gets because your skin's like getting used to having a foreign substance on it all the time, but painting and but pain and like burning are not normal. Okay? If you if you experience that, follow the removal instructions stop using it and contact the live chat transtape.life it's important that you follow the removal instructions too for your test strip video up here that is making sure that you're using oil letting it sit for 60 to 90 seconds and then removing it with additional oil dropping some removal oil in the bathtub that kind of thing please remember to make sure that you're using the removal instructions properly even for a two by two test strip it's important to um, make sure you do this so, so you know for a fact that you're not having a reaction and you can keep your skin healthy we don't want anyone to be like bruising or hurt or anything like that we need to really listen to our skin and give it what it needs so this is what the milk of magnesia looks like. It's literally like liquid laxative, I guess, technically. Using it on top of your skin creates a barrier between your trans tape and um, your skin. So I just wanted to show you what it looks like so that way you can get it at the store. This is the Equate, like Walmart version. It works just fine. And then trans tape also has their own healing salve that comes in like a tube like this. You can get the, this is the big one. This is the two ounce one. Um, it's really, it, it's really good. It, it smells really good and it's made of entirely like natural ingredients. It literally just says one, two, three, four, five ingredients and they're all like natural. I can pronounce all of them. Um, so that's super cool. Um, so 
yeah, this will also help with your skin. You really shouldn't scratch or itch over the top of your tape because it'll cause friction and irritation underneath that tape and it'll cause your pain. So, total recap. You shouldn't scratch or itch over the top of the tape because it'll have friction, irritation under the tape, and pain. Just try not to itch it. Make sure you're not overstretching during the application, which can cause the itchiness. Make sure you're using ice packs to relieve the itching and not just scratching at your skin to death. And if you're still itching, make sure that you're using a thin layer of milk of magnesia. Bef magnesia. I always do that. Milk of magnesia before the application. It's important to remember that pain and burning are not normal. Be safe to your skin. Skin. Use oil to remove if you're experience any, experiencing any kind of pain or burning and contact the live chat, transtape.life, and we'll be able to help you out. Me and Bo Dubois run that, so if you ever need help with me or from Bo, who's a double D and uses transtape, um, that we'll be glad to help you out. So, Oh, and if you want to join my free Facebook give back group, that's where the winner gets Euphoria in the form of a deluxe kit of transtape and one bottom dysphoria destroying prosthetic every Every single month for their participation inside the group so you can check that out in the link below and if you like what you see and you want to subscribe for some more trans dope content please subscribe hit the bell hit the like button drop a comment let me know who you are I'd love to chat and I'll see you guys in the next video peace out